Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm packing for the beach. It is Wednesday. We leave for the beach Friday morning and I work all day tomorrow so today I need to get it done. I wanted to show you how I pack for JR and I. This is the first time I'll be going away with JR um, and kind of by myself. My parents will be with me, but Jimmy will not. Uh, if you've watched me in my other videos, you know that Jimmy's going to a bachelor party where he's going to be riding dirt bikes and he's going to be on a boat in the river. So I wanted to go away for the weekend so I wasn't stuck at home and my parents were the perfect people to bring along because they haven't been to the beach since I was like two years old. So we're all really excited. As you can see, I have an array of things and I'm not even done, but I want to start with the diaper bag portion so that way I can pack that up because we're taking JR to his one year appointment um, at 12 o'clock so I have to kind of show this portion of it to you first. Um, this whole video, this whole vlog is going to be like filled with bits of um, bits of clips from different time zones because I did his um, birthday haul that I'm going to put at the end of this video and um, so let's just get right into it. I, I tend to ramble on these things. I don't know why I ramble so much. Um, okay, so I have divided it and it's not completely done like I said. Let me turn on the light. Is the light on? Okay, so I've divided it. I'm doing JR stuff first. So this is done. So I can show you this. I figured two outfits for each day and extras because I overpack. I figured two outfits for each day. We're going from Friday to Sunday, so it's not a long trip. But, I mean, by the looks of it, maybe it looks like it is. Maybe it looks like it's a week. But So, the first outfit are these cute little shorts with skull and crossbones. And they're actually pirate ones, so they kind of fit well with the beach theme. So, I have those shorts with his new shirt that he got for his birthday. Let me show you that. It's just a plain pocket t-shirt and it's gray. Then I got another outfit. JR is waking up from his nap with these, is that Aztec? Am I saying that right? Shorts with this green striped patterned shirt. I'm not sure if this completely matches but it's so beachy I feel like I had to do it. This these are red shorts, focus for me, with little crabs and sharks. They're so cute. It has a little sailboat, too, mixed in there. So they're red, white, and blue. And then my sister got me this shirt. Oh my gosh, my camera, I can't wait till I get a better one. So, and then a red, white, and blue shirt. Can you make stripes with patterns, guys? I don't know. And the red is like bumped up to the red. But whatever. I actually kind of think it's cute. So that's the next outfit. I think once it's on him, it won't look so weird. Um, then I just have tan shorts with a muscle shirt. And it has sea creatures on it. I didn't buy any outfits for JR. I'm not, um, I don't consider myself a high maintenance mom. I know a lot of the times you buy things that are a little more high maintenance, but it just honestly makes my life easier. Um, but I don't go out and like buy special outfits. So all of this was hand-me-downs. I told you guys before, almost all of his clothes were either given to me. I don't, I didn't, I hardly bought any outfits for JR. So we're going over here. I got him a little, I didn't get him, I just have this. It's a little zip up for if it does get cold and it says Captain Adorable, which I thought fit the ocean theme as well. Couldn't go to the beach without <laughs> this cute little Hawaiian shirt. Um, it's so cute. What's that? Oh yeah, that's the button. Sorry. That, it's a little big for him, but oh well. Then I have another muscle shirt because it's going to be really hot. And it's green and it says shark. I have one more just plain blue muscle shirt. And then this one says, let's race. It's one of my favorite t-shirts because he looks so good in green. Okay, so I have two outfits for each day and then I packed one, two, three, four, four extra shirts because he gets messy when he eats and sand and we're going to be taking baths, I'm sure, because of all the sand. 
Um, and then right now, I have one extra pair of shorts. I have two more in the wash that are being washed right now. I have two pair of swim trunks for them. These are big. So these are backup. Um, they have froggies on them. And then his other one is in the dryer. I also packed a pair of socks for him. He has shoes that are like breathable, that has air that goes through them. But I do have a pair of sneakers that I'll bring just in case. And I have socks for that. Then I have one, two, three, three blankets. They're really um, breathable. This one's my favorite. So cute. And then the little robot monsters. And then the just the chevron stripes or whatever that is. Um, I figure I'll need them. I'll probably actually pack a couple more. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I, I just imagine myself using them. Then, this is kind of his nighttime, well, his, the rest of his nighttime stuff's over there, but I have two um, overnight diapers because he pees through his diapers. And then I'm just going to put him in short sleeve onesies for bedtime. So I have this one that has little whales on it. That's not It's not really meant for bedtime, but I'm sure he'll be fine in just a onesie. And then this one says awesome or something like that or Dinos it's dinosaur. And then this one says got crawfish from New Orleans because I figured he'd wear that because his grandma just his great grandma just bought him that. I got a new sound machine that he got for his birthday, so I can leave my old one here because my projector stopped working. So I figured I should take the one with the projector since he'll be in a new place. Kind of have something to distract him from being in a new place. Hopefully that works because if you have a baby, you know that it's not the easiest getting him to sleep in new places. Okay, so this is my diaper bag for on the road type of thing. It's not completely finished. I obviously need to add like sippy cups and bottles and things like that to this. But this is what I have roughly. I brought this. It's empty, but he has antibiotics. He's on them now. Um, I actually think I did a little bit of a, like an update without knowing it. Um, Jimmy and I were talking in front of the camera, so I'll probably put that clip in right now to tell you guys what's happening with his nose. So I have the little remedies um, bag so that I can put his antibiotic in here. And then this will go in the cooler because it needs to stay cold. Um, then I have a brand new pack of wipes. I have his um, mat, his diaper mat down. I have his puffs. And I have sunscreen because I figure um, I'm going to need that in the diaper bag anyway. So I might as well just put it with this stuff so I know that I remember it. I have his medicine bag that has his Tylenol in it, his baby powder. Um, gas drops which he never uses anymore but I have a couple of diapers and then I have his mat that we take out to restaurants it opens up and it sticks to the table so that he doesn't have to eat off of the dirty table um, I don't do this behind me it's I do this for germs honestly it just freaks me out that he would eat off of a table um, that they just like barely wipe down so I just always put that in my mat in my diaper bag because I'm sure we'll go out to eat and I just want to have it with me I have some blocks because he's actually been entertained by the blocks. This little teething toy thing. And some hand sanitizer. So that's so far what I have for the diaper bag. Okay, so now I'm going into kind of beach, kind of restaurant, kind of snacks, kind of, I don't know. I got a big, if you watched my beach haul, I got this big beach um, bag that I'm super excited about. I got that. And I got two beach towels for us. I got the beach hut, which is like half a tent basically. Um, hopefully my dad can set this up because I can't. That's what I miss about having Jimmy. Um, I got the baby teethers because these are a lifesaver. Um, I got a wipes. I have wipes for in a diaper bag. And then I have wipes for like extra if I leave some at home. Like I'll have them at home. I just, you can never have too many wipes. Um, I have his suction ball and his boogie mist since he has the uh, nose problem. I bought this just in case I wanted to have it on the beach. Um, I'll put like an ice cube in it or a piece of fruit and he can suck on that and then I know he's staying hydrated if he doesn't want to drink out of his bottle. Um, then I'm bringing a whole little pack of, out of my big pack, I'm bringing all of these diapers for at home and then of course I have some in the diaper bag. For, oh, I'm bringing Vaseline uh, because that's what I use on his um, diaper rash a lot of the times. Um, I'm bringing these little, these little fruit packs. Um, if anybody goes to DNK around here, these are 25 cents and this is 99 cents. So, I have some of those. I have some puffs along with his teethers. I think will be set on snacks that he can eat at least. Splashers, diapers, I took your guys' advice. I returned the 
actual diaper covers, the ones that are, um, that you can wash, and I just got a pack of these. I have another pack of these. There's 24 in here. I don't think I need the other pack. I got his little, um, swim zip-up vest. Of course, a diaper pail. Then little toys. I brought the most toys that I could bring that I think he'll play with. Um, I don't really want to bring anything huge, but I think these little things will be okay to kind of hand him. Um, then I'm going into like bath time, bedtime. Like I said, a lot of the stuff is in here because of course I'm going to bring his monitor. Um, I have his sound machine over there. I have his whale that makes noise um, so that he can look at that. It glows and makes noise. He really likes that. I'm going to bring his pack and play and obviously some stuffed animals from home so he's familiar. Um, and then I have, this is what we had at home, like this container with all of these. I actually got this at my baby shower and just now got to use them. Um, so inside I put the baby wash, um, the little cup that I use, and I have his, um, where did I put it? I have a washcloth to put in here too. But that made for a nice little convenient thing to carry everything in. And I brought trash bags, two trash bags, because I feel like you need them. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I know I'm going to need them. Um, anything else that I'm going to add will be last minute. Obviously, like, bottles. He's still a little bit on formula, so I'm going to bring some formula, and I need to stop and get milk, and I'll probably get some eggs for in the morning. Um, everything else we can probably eat out, but in the morning I'll feed him breakfast. So, and that is all for JR. Am I going overboard? I know it's only two days, but I just know a baby is hard to keep entertained and they need a lot of things. And so this is my final results of my haul. <laughs> Not my haul, my packing. So if you guys think I'm forgetting anything, um, I feel like I am. I feel like I'm not very organized, but I, it looks organized, but in my head, it's like a million little things that I keep remembering. Um, next, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be packing. I'll show you my outfits and things like that. I guess you guys can look at me. Um, I'll show you my outfits and things like that, what I think I'm going to be bringing with my just my parents. I'm probably not going to care what it look like. I am going there to relax. I want to get tan. I probably won't be wearing a lot of makeup. I'm not going to be taking any hair supplies along. My hair is fine. I can just throw it up in a ponytail or... A, brush it. That's all I care about doing for that, the next two days. So, and I probably won't bring a lot of makeup. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. The only thing is my friend will be down in Ocean City for her bachelor party that I was invited to, but I couldn't go because of JR because Jimmy is going to her husband's bachelor party. And actually my friend, like the wife, which is my friend, soon to be bride, the bride, the bride is going to Ocean City, Maryland as well. So if JR is content and if he sleeps I might go out and meet them at the bars um, to celebrate with her. So I'll probably pack like a couple nice outfits and I'll probably bring my makeup but I won't bring anything for my hair um, so that I can meet them out there if it works out that JR will let me. Um, it is 11.21 and JR needs to wake up from his nap so that we can go to the doctor's office. So when I get back from the doctor's and when I get a chance, I will show you what I am packing to go to the beach. Okay, so it's hours later and it's it's 3.15. So JR is done for his nap. He should actually be waking up shortly. Um, JR got three shots today. One, two in the arm and one in the leg. He is not happy. So I'm going to show you what I'm packing. You guys are going to think I'm crazy because I overpack. I have two more shorts in the dryer so I'm gonna have three pairs of shorts I'm going to have all of these tank tops I have two green ones one blue one one pink one one white one I have two nice um, shirts I have my brown underwear I have this bralette okay this story got this dress off of boutique online I'm not gonna open well okay I'll open it up um got it off my of boutique online it's really cute except for a little big on me and the straps go really low down like below my boob area so I couldn't wear it because I didn't want my bra strap to hang out so I got a bralette at Ross for like $7.99 I saw this it fit me perfectly it has the crisscross in the front which is really cute 
and then the like lacy flower detail um, and it comes I it's just so cute and look I don't think that could match no I don't think that could match any better in the lighting on the camera it actually looks like it doesn't match as well as it does in person it's seriously the same exact color so I tried to sell this dress but it feels like I'm meant to keep this dress so I brought this dress I bought a blue dress that has little ties on the sleeves it's really just a little tight on me though I need to lose some weight in general um, I have this blue dress and I have this green dress that's long sleeve for if I get cold um, sorry that was if you heard that that was me against my bed okay then I have a pair of jeans I have some things for if I get cold I have two sweat sweatshirts and a flannel um, I have a regular t-shirt and I have a towel and then this is where I'll put like right here I have my body dew and my mousse and another perfume and here I have some bobby pins and clips and hair ties so this is all gonna get filled last minute because it's my makeup and I still work tomorrow so I have to have my makeup out and then I have this set here to remember my laptop my laptop charger my phone charger, my phone charger adapter box thing, my battery charger, my camera, and I think that's it electronics wise. Obviously my cell phone. But I think that's all I'll need to vlog. This, everything that you saw on my bed, fits into this suitcase. Look at that pack job. I am pretty impressed. Who says I need Jimmy to do everything for me? Eh. Ugh. So then I can still fit some extra things in here, in here. I have his beach hut. Okay, some extra things not shown. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, his pack and play to sleep in, obviously. His monitor. His sound machine, but I did show that. And his little chair that you guys have seen in me before, the green chair that I got off Amazon, Amazon that folds out and it's like a little seat. So that way I can feed him at the hotel and I don't need a high chair. I can feed him in that. Um, I think, oh, and the stroller. Obviously the stroller. I think that's everything for big stuff that will have to fit in to the van. We're taking my mom and dad's van. They have a van because they're grandparents, so. Um, I think that's everything though for packing. If you have any suggestions for me, something I missed, something that I forgot to talk about, um, any questions, I hope this video was helpful for people that are packing for their kids um, vacation, especially if they're doing it by themselves because I feel like without Jimmy I might have a breakdown because I rely on him for so much. But um, I'm not giving myself enough credit though because usually I'm the one who would pack anyways even if Jimmy was going. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, this was a stressful last couple of days with the birthday party and working so much to get some money before vacation, packing for vacation, taking JR to his ear, nose, and throat specialist appointment and his doctor's appointment today. Poor guy had to go, poor little kid had to go to two doctor's appointments on his birthday, so I feel bad for him. But as always, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Comment and let me know if you have any questions or if you have any advice for me. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really am excited about my channel. A lot of people have been messaging me privately to tell me that they watch. And I'm really excited to know that people are watching me. And people that I don't expect to watch me are watching me, which I really like. Have a good day, morning or night, guys. Bye.